today our discussion will be on chemical properties of alkaline earth metals of group 3 elements firstly reactivity towards air and water so except for beryllium and magnesium the rest of the alkali metals react with air and water to form oxide and hydroxides so except this beryllium B E and M G okay except for this one the rest break with air and water okay to give oxides and hydroxides now this M G and B E they do not react with air okay they do not react with air air and water due to an oxide film on their surface okay so due to the formation of this oxide film on their surface okay so this oxide film act as a protective layer and because of this protective layer it does not break this mg mg and be does not react with air and water however the powdered form of beryllium and magnesium okay can react with air this powdered be react with water uh air so to be plus oxygen okay to give beryllium oxide the three B E react with nitrogen to give beryllium beryllium nitrate nitrite okay B E three and two in the same way M G also react with oxygen to give M G O the M magnesium react with nitrogen to give mg3 and magnesium nitrate so the rest of the alkaline earth metals like calcium sr strontium barium okay they react with water water also air also so they react with air okay to give oxide okay with air to give oxide and then with N2 to give with N2 to give nitrite nitrites and with water H2O to give hydroxide example are M O H two or C A O H two okay etc. Now reactivity to towards the halogens. So they combine with halogens at elevated temperature. So elevated temperature means uh, at, at higher temperature, okay. M plus halogen X2 to give an X2, okay. So this X can be any halogen, like X is equal to chlorine, chlorine, bromine, or iodine. So at elevated temperature by the mixture from st okay they combine with this halogens okay to form metal halides so this m can be m okay can be mg ca strontium and barium except for be okay except for this be 
So for BE, we need to use different methods to prepare beryllium halides. Okay, so BEF2 okay can be prepared by decomposition of by decomposition position of NH4 to BEF4 decomposition of this one okay if D this one is decomposed it will give BEF2 okay N another method for preparation BE for preparation of BE Cl2 okay it will be carbon plus fluorine plus PEO to give BECL2 plus CO so this will take place at 600 to 800 Kelvin next one is reactivity towards hydrogen so all these uh, metals they react with hydrogen to form hydrides okay so ex exception arise for beryllium again okay so this beryllium shows anomalous property okay so it, because of that it's there is so many exceptions okay so because of this we have seen so many exceptions for beryllium okay that we'll discuss here reactivity towards hydrogen so this m can be mg ca strontium and beryllium except for be okay beryllium So this will be hydrides okay this is example of hydrides or we can even say metal hydrides so BEH2 okay it can be prepared by reaction okay reaction of BECL2 plus lithium aluminium hydride so it will give I'm writing here it will give ALCL3 plus LICL and lastly BEH2 For clarity let's write the moles to and to Next one is reactivity towards acid. So this alkaline metals okay react with acids and liberates the dihydrogen metal plus acid HCl to molds to give MCL or metal salt okay and liberates this one the hydrogen next one is the reducing nature okay so why they show reducing nature because they are electro positives and by electro positive it means they can re easily or readily donate their electrons the outermost electrons to s you know the electronic configuration is an s2 so they can easily give or readily lose these two electrons okay and 
Reduce means those which accept, okay, accept electrons, okay. So it's something or some elements, okay, or metals. They accept these electrons. They are reduced, okay. So they donate this, and this electron is accepted by other, and then it is reduced, okay. After accepting electrons, they are reduced. So that means it acts as a reducing or it is reducing in nature. So reducing nature, we have discussed about the reducing nature of alkali metal. So the first group element, okay. So similarly to first group element, these alkaline earth metals, they are reducing in nature. So they have negative value of reduction potential. So they have high value or high negative value of reduction potential. So high value of negative uh, negative value okay of reduction potential means they are strongly reducing okay in nature okay so about this one reduction potential okay negative value of reduction potentials you will study in class 12 we are going to detail okay for now you just have you just know that negative high negative value of reduction potential means they are strongly reducing in nature So we have learned that they can, because of their electropositive nature, they can uh, readily lose their electron, right? And then others can accept this electron and get reduced. Okay. Now, group group two elements, okay, or alkali earth metals, they're reducing power is less okay then group one okay now the reason is group one elements they are bigger okay and group two element they are smaller okay so group one element they are bigger than group two element okay so we know that bigger the shell it is much easier for the electron to get removed okay so group one element they easily give their electrons and others can accept and reduce get reduced easily but for group two elements smaller okay smaller the size is smaller so it becomes harder for the electron to get removed okay or it will require higher ionization enthalpy to remove the outermost electron so that is why group 2 the reducing power is less okay compared to group 1 now again we are going to come across one exception okay beryllium okay beryllium is the smallest size among the group 2 elements or alkaline earth metals okay so as we can see it will have the lowest okay reducing property although it will have the lowest reducing power okay among the alkaline earth metals but since it is small okay in size this be2 plus ion will have higher hydration energy okay and since it will have higher hydration energy it 
heck as a reducing agent or it is reducing in nature this be2 plus okay because of its higher hydrogen energy so that means it can lose electrons okay it can lose electrons to become be2 plus okay so it can be reducing in nature only in solution okay not in gaseous form okay in solutions because of its hydrogen energy it will be reducing in nature in solution okay in, in gaseous form its reducing power will be less compared to the other groups okay other other elements in the groups now lastly solution in liquid ammonia okay so like the first group element okay there are these alkaline air metals they are soluble in liquid ammonia okay so the reaction is m metal plus x plus y moles to give uh, an entry okay to give M N H three X two plus plus I'm writing here two moles electron and H three ammoniated electron minus so they are soluble in liquid ammonia okay so after dissolving okay what happened is they give deep blue black color so about the color and all we have discussed that in uh, in the group one element also okay for the group one element also now for that one we are not going to discuss here okay so this one okay this one ammoniates ammoniates or ammoniated ions okay it can be recovered okay this one 